we're going to do a certain kind of knot to begin the cord. Okay, so, and you'll notice what I've done here also already is I've untied the knot, but I've also separated my colors because I think it looks really nice when you have the colors separated for making these braids. Um, you can make them all, all um, mixed. I did that on this one. I mixed all the colors. I didn't separate them when I made it. And it makes a kind of neat, you know, variegated thing. But when you separate the colors, it makes a more interesting pattern to me. So if you want to get it to look more of the pattern instead of just mixed up colors, then you separate your colors. Okay. So this is what this is what we're we're making. And this is what it looks like when you have it in your package. So what we're going to do is we're going to just do an overhand knot. So that's just a regular knot. You just make a, a loop and then pull all of the tails through it. And then we'll just, you know, tighten it up, try to pull it up towards the ring as much as you can. So you got to fiddle with the strings a little bit. It's not that um, hard, but it's fiddly. I always have trouble like getting a knot exactly where I want it. Okay, so so that's pretty good. I just don't want it like two inches from the <laughs> from the ring. Um, this one I got maybe three eighths of an inch, three eighths of an inch to a half an inch. You know, or you can pull it tighter if you want. But anyway, so I'm I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to. Uh, make sure my colors are in two groups. And I have to get started by taking the, the ends of one of the groups and putting them back through the knot. So because I already tightened my knot, I'm just going to stick them on a tapestry needle so that I can pull them through. If you want to pull them through before you tighten your knot, you can do that you know, just with your fingers. But I find that after I stick these through the knot, it's really hard to figure out what to pull to tighten the knot. And um, it's not such a big deal to put them on the tapestry needle. So you want to get all the strands on the tapestry needle. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is just take this and put it back up through the knot and I'm going to pull the tails through, but I'm gonna leave a loop down here. Okay, so that's the hardest part of what we're doing is making that knot and then um, tightening it and pulling the ends through. Now we have a loop with you know, color A. Now all we're gonna do is make a crochet chain and two colors. This is how I, I've never seen it explained this way, but as I was making it, I thought that's what it's like. It's just like a crochet chain, but with two colors. So I'm gonna take my little hook here and I've got a pile of books right on the edge here of my camera can see. And I find this easier to do if it's, if it's secured a little bit. So it doesn't take a lot, but I stuck it in the book so there's a little weight on it. Now, all you're gonna do is go into a loop and pull the other color through, okay? So now I'm, that's like a crochet chain. Then I can pull the first color tight. Now I have a loop of the second color. I'm gonna pull the first color through and then tighten up the other color. And that's, that's really all it is. Try to um, look at what you're doing and just go back and forth. And I found it easiest if I said, okay, I'm going to have one in each side. So like I'm going to hold the brown on the right and the yellow on the left. So then I could just like kind of have a hand for each one. I pulled that through, tighten that one. Pull that through. Tighten that one. And that is really all there is to it. And it just starts to make that braid. You go as far as you want and then you tie in a knot in your ends and same kind of knot as at the top. 
and you cut it off and you have a little braid. So that's, that's what we had for our little project. I just wanted you to try something that was a traditional Lithuanian um, finger weaving project, but easy to do. And so we just, and because we were talking about frogs and witches and, and there was potions with toads and things in the booklet, I figured we'd put a little frog on it. So I learned how to make this in Lithuania when I went to a, uh, I did a knitting tour and we had a class and we made this little bracelet. We had a, a little piece of wood and we got to put our name on it. And the, the teacher that was showing us, it was really fun. We had fun this day. We made this and a felted ball. And the teacher was like, usually we only teach this to children. So I hope you're not bored, but we had so much fun and we learned this and it's really cool. Like you can use it in all kinds of things with your projects where you might otherwise use an I cord or a, a regular braid or a twisted cord for, you know, drawstrings or, or ties or anything like that.